here's a video of how to clip your cat's nails safely this is a full tutorial of me doing all of my cat's nails and i like to first see which one is the least difficult so i start with those first because i know that the most difficult are going to run regardless so i try to knock out the easy ones first here i'm demonstrating that you want to make sure to only clip the white part if you see the pink part that means you will cut the quick or wick as they say and that will cause a lot of bleeding so you want to avoid those areas make sure to clip just right below that Callie does an amazing job so that's why she's always first next we have Stella she's great with it as well she just lays there and gets her nails clipped too after we will give the cats treats for doing such a great job but I just wanted to show you guys how it is supposed to look and then I'll give you some tips coming up next if your cat is very skittish i recommend using a towel to cover their back legs so that that way they don't fidget on you and make it hard for you to safely clip their nails sophie doesn't need it i'm just using her as demonstration because all of my cats have gotten very used to getting their nails clipped so if they need to you can also cover them completely with a towel and cover everything except their paws Sophie did such an amazing job. She's excited to start playing after her nails are clipped. None of them look traumatized. Next, we have Susie. Susie sits a little bit more awkwardly, so try to find a comfortable position for them to be able to endure the clipping. But she does very well. It's just finding her sweet spot how we did here. Next we have Scooter, he's a little bit more skittish. He does try to kick a little bit, so we just try to make sure to calmly do it for him because he will randomly throw his back paws. He could benefit from the towel, but with time I've learned when he's going to randomly kick like he just did. And he's not too skittish that you would necessarily need a towel. So it's up to you, it's your own comfort level. So find what works best for you and your cat. Last but not least, we have to find Luna. She always tries to run and hide in a corner, so I try to lure her in with treats. Here we are trying to lure her in. She's the first one for treats always. We try to distract everybody with treats so that we can calmly do her cat nails because she is the most skittish one. You can hear her meowing in the video as we do her clipping, but after that, she's great. We give her an extra round of treats. Don't let them lose my treats. I'll be quick. I'll give you more. I know, I always do. Look at these. These are so good. All right, hold on. She's just focused on the treats. There you go. Back to the treats. Thank you guys for watching. Please share any tips or questions down below in the comments. See you next time.